back to a new video in today's video i'm going to be doing a gel polish set using the new colors from madam glam i say new they were released on the 1st of september um i think madam glam had some shipping issues so i've literally not long i've only had mine for a few days now um so i thought i would get a set done these are the colors that i'm using today there are eight colors in the set um so i'm using five here which i'm showing you right now if you want to see the whole collection i have posted a uh, uh, an image on my instagram account so you'll find them all there um but for this set i'm only gonna be doing four nails because they're all the same they're not all the same they're all the same but they're different um but it's the same kind of and i thought well i might as well only do four so the base color is going to be this gorgeous nude which is called the truth and we're going to do two two coats I think of yeah two coats of this on each now i just don't know why i'm trying to think about it it's definitely two coats so with madam glam gel polishes each coat will need a 30 second cure in an led lamp or two minutes in uv so this is me applying the second coat very exciting um i am going to skip forward because it's the same as applying the first coat but look at this before i put them in <gasps> so smooth and shiny how is that just that's like the most satisfying thing right yes i love it right the other four colors i'm going to take a blob of each and i'm going to put it a, a blob blah, 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 blah. i can't speak i'm going to put a, a uh, i'm going to put a blob of each on my palette oh my goodness um yeah these are them aren't they gorgeous like lovely slightly muted dusky colors for september um i'm going to be using some gold leaf and this ethereal glitter as well from nail sugar i'll show you that a little bit more closely in a minute i don't know why i got my ombre brush out to do this just get a gel brush it'll be fine um you could probably even use the bottle brush as long as you don't have too much gel polish on it that would probably do the job but what i'm going to do is we're going to take each color and make a little blob on each nail and on some nails you're going to want to put two blobs you might just want to put one see look here i'm just going to put two so it doesn't have to be i mean they don't have to be perfect blobs they can all be slightly different sizes um this is like my first blob i'm going to do i do flash kill that then i'm going to go in with the purple and do a second blob and you can see here i they they are starting to overlap you don't have to overlap them i just think they look quite nice when they overlap i am going to well, I had trouble here because look, it looks like. Hang on, what am I doing? Oh, another blob. But I don't want those little. I mean, you could do the streaky bits if you want. I don't really want the streaky bits. So I am going to take a gel brush with a rounded. You know, the curved gel brushes. See, look what I've got here. Um, I'm going to gonna use one of those to apply the pink. Now, I have flash cured the other colours as well. So each time I add on a new colour. I do flash cure the previous color so that we don't get any like color smudging or smearing or do you know what i mean so again we're just going to keep adding little blobs wherever i think some nails are going to have one blob of color some nails are going to have two some blobs can overlap it's all going to be slightly different okay then we're going to pop that into the lamp then we're going to go over with the last color which is the blue and again we can just place this on wherever like wherever there's a gap if you want to fill it you can um do leave some gaps though i think it looks kind of nice with some gaps but just kind of make it random it doesn't you know there's no rhyme or reason just do whatever you want really and then i'll give that a full cure and then into the tacky layer i want to apply some patches of gold leaf now I wanted to make, they don't have to be, but I was kind of trying to make them the same kind of size as the blobs. But I mean, it, yeah, doesn't, there's no, I guess I said before, it's just do whatever you want to do really. <laughs> just don't cover the whole nail with gold leaf, otherwise you'll just like ruin the, you, you won't see the design. So here we go on this one, I'm going to put two blobs. And the gold leaf is so, so thin. That it will just stick to that tacky layer and um, it, it can be a bit of a nuisance so this little bit was too small so i'm just going to add another little bit next to that just to make it like a bigger patch like that um 
yeah, just put on as much as you want, really, but not too much. I'm going to put another bit up there. And then once you're happy, just leave it as it is. And then I'm going to take some base coat and I'm going to put that on my palette. We're going to apply some of that ethereal glitter. This is it. Oh, it's so pretty. The gold leaf was from Nail Sugar, but I don't think it's on the website anymore. But this glitter is definitely on the website. And you can get 10% off anything on Nail Sugar's website using my code NATMOG10. This glitter is gorgeous. I'm, it, yeah, you probably think, like when it's matted on this set of nails, it looks so nice. It just looks so good. So obviously, spoiler alert, we are going to matte finish this set of nails. But you will have seen that because you'll have seen the thumbnail. But where I want the glitter... I just put like a little a bit of base coat and then I will rub the glitter or like tap the glitter with my brush and then just place that into the glitter. Um, I've put a little bit up the top as well. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put a bit more because I want the I want yeah I want it. I do want you to be able to see the glitter. So just again just a couple of patches of glitter. So I think some nails I might do like three patches, but don't make if you're putting three patches on, don't make the patches massive. You just want to be able to, there was too much on that. So and make sure you get some big chunks and uh, like some little chunks as well. And then we can put some here. Yeah, I, just, I really like this kind of design. I think because it's just so random that it, yeah, you can, it's just really easy. There we go. I'm going to carry that on across the other nails. And then this is what they look like before I put them in the lamp. Or have I put them in the lamp? I might have put them in the lamp. Um, but just to smooth them out a little bit more, I'm going to go over with a layer of base coat. Don't make this too thick because otherwise your nails will end up starting to get a bit bulky, especially if you're doing this on a... Um, if you're doing this on some shorter nails, it's probably going to... They'll probably start to get a bit bulky. So do bear that in mind. Um, and then I'm going to go over with them the velvet matte top coat just to obviously matte them because I like it a lot. I did wipe off the tacky layer before I put the velvet matte top coat on. I don't know why I done that because I don't normally. I just thought I'd do it this time. I don't know why. You don't need to. Um, and then we're going to use our uh, black Madame Glam gel paint for the next bit. See, look, can you see what I mean by the glitter? It just makes the glitter really pop. Oh, I just, I love it. I mean, you can leave them like that if you want. Um, but the next part is adding on our design. So I've seen lots and lots of nails where people have done animal print and then they've added like kind of foliage. Is that the right word? It sounds weird. You know, like leaves and flowers and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this in different areas on each nail. But for this first nail, I'm going to show you. I'm just filling in the corner, the top corner here with a like zebra tiger stripes whatever i don't know what you want to call it um but we're literally just going to do this corner and i mean i don't know how to describe doing this like i make like little stripes that connect at the end and then sometimes i'll do like long old lines but yeah if you're unsure just google it and get a picture I like doing tiger stripes or zebra stripes because they're really easy uh, or i think they're quite easy um but if yeah if you don't just get a just google net just google animal print nail art and it'll give you just a nice reference to look up and then obviously we're gonna add some leaves because it's like foliage isn't it yeah yeah i kind of don't know what to say now i'm not sure what to say um this is me putting some leaves on if you want to you can add your your like center stem and then have the leaves coming off the stem if you notice here i'm making the leaves um i'm placing the leaves slightly away from the stem um so i will add here look i'm going to add a little you see see what i'm doing here so they just they take up more space doing that um i think on some of the other nails i don't add that extra little bit to the leaf to the end of the leaf but it just it all just depends um on your preference really so i'm going to do that on all the other nails as well uh, but i'm also going to add a little i decided because it was like loads of gap so we're going to do like some sticks 
with two little twigs coming out and then I'm going to get a dotting tool and I'm going to dip that into the black not too much just a little bit and then we're going to add some like little like berry shapes berries berry shapes I don't know um because it's just something extra I kind of like dots at the moment I really like dots I don't know what it is about dots I just really like them so yeah so we're going to do that so we're going to have on every nail we're going to have some tiger stripes we're going to have a leaf or two and we're going to have some berries there we go and it doesn't have to be you know just just different areas all over the nail and this is where we are at right now Ta so they will need a 60 second cure in the lamp and then this is what they look like finished i really like these um i'll leave madam glam's um website and discount code and now sugar's website and discount code down below um if you did like this video please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it is completely free um i love that glitter look at the glitter at the bottom oh it looks so nice i could just stare at these all day anyway god bless and i'll see you all in the next one <laughs> love you bye